Hello, it's Dale here. I'm going to show you today what you can do with uh, brown paper. Now, these, this is some brown paper bags. There's lots of brown paper bags around these days. Makes fabulous uh, fabric or paper. First, what I'm just going to do is get some of my um, oil pastels. Give it a good rub. A few different colours. And this is a paper you can make these up. Lots of colours have play, and then you've got things that you can use to cut for stitching on applique. We go for a, go for an orange here. Let's see what happens. And just get going. And then you need a ink pad of some sort. Oh, sorry. Before I do that, I'm going to it all up. The thing about paper is it breaks down and becomes pliable. And then with a little smooth it all out again, with the ink pad, run it over, see how it picks up all the ridges. And then take your sprays, uh, you guys look. And just And set it aside and when it's dry, then you've got a lovely surface that you can use. Of course, there's some different ones that I've done. You can see when I use these sprays with micas, you get uh, that sort of effect. And then you can take your gilding wax and perhaps highlight some of the bits as well. And that's it, and you just can put it through, put them through your um, die cutter, cut out shapes, weave them, use them as fabulous backgrounds. This one I've woven, stitched, woven one of these up, and then I've also done things like uh, that's another one I've cut out for a shape. You can see this little one here. I've stitched all over it, so that's the background in there inside my house, and again under there, that's the same thing. And here, you use for a background and contrast. So if you have a look here, you'll see that background's all done exactly the same way with um, uh, just playing with the, those the um, pastels and so on. So that's one way that you can use them. The other way is just to take your um, paper, crumple it up. That's already scrunched up. Lay it down. It's nice creases. Take a bit of painted um, webbing. Put it on the top. You can see I've painted some of it with runny paints. These are sun dyes, or you could use. Um, Dynaflow, they work really well, or you can spray the colours on. So, those ones have been painted with Dynaflow, these ones are the sprays. It doesn't really matter, just something that will put the colour down for you. And then take um, sorry, a piece of clean glad bag. And it, and I'm the webbing to it. Okay. You've got some of the colour, you're never going to get all of that colour coming through because what you're doing is actually spraying the top. But have a look at this piece of um, uh, fusible webbing which I've coloured. Now that's also something that you can use as part of your paper stash. So you keep all that because you can cut that up, make shapes again with that. And then you take your foil. And I've used, put the foil down on top. And iron it. To, I have to say you shouldn't really have plastic down for ironing over, but 
I won't worry about that. And where the foil is on top of that webbing, you've got this wonderful background that you can then do something like stitch on. And it, uh, you can cut that up, use the shapes, but how can you enhance that? And you can see where you crumbled it first, you've got that nice, you can spray back into there if you want to, or you, by the time you've added other things. And then it becomes a wonderful little background for um, putting down, here's the same thing, and I've put it down as the background behind my stained glass that I showed you, Coon and Felt. So you've got, um, you know, treasured excitements before you even start. So stitch it. So that's two things you can do. Just use your uh, wax crayons, oil pastels, whatever you've got to colour and to weave and stitch. This is actually another one that I've woven and, and stitched. It's just been pinned. You can see how I've stitched it first, then cut it up. So the colour can be as bright as you like or as subtle as you want. Um, and then all, and then the second one is to crinkle up your paper, put your paint of light, a fusible webbing on and then apply foil. So you've got two different sorts of things and you can build up a beautiful stash of these and you can cut out shapes, put them through your die cutter, whatever, and or stitch on. It's all entirely up to you. So I hope you found that a little bit useful in this Christmas time. Uh, we'll see you again another time.